we were flown in a twin otter aircraft from uh, Resolute Bay uh, that we'd uh, chartered especially for this project um, through Cape Isaacson where there is a small weather station abandoned we refueled there and then set off um, several hundred miles out to sea north of the Canadian coast out of the Arctic Ocean sea ice we are finding at the moment that it is highly mobile um, we've uh, drifted uh, about 10 miles in two days just with the uh, j just the ice moving across the surface of the water and uh, and it's now broken up uh, dramatically all around us so maybe that characterizes this area we shall find out as we go on so we're feeling uh, good we're making uh, good progress the, um, the, <laughs> the big development today is that uh, at about 3 o'clock in the morning uh, it's now 5.30 in the morning our time we had to uh, strike camp because of the ice breaking up all around us and um, it's a bit like a giant combine harvester just sort of crunching the ice coming towards the tent and uh, we thought we'd get away with it for the night but actually uh, at 3 o'clock in the morning it's having stopped at about midnight it started up again and we uh, woke to an enormous sort of judder going through the ice underneath our tent and then we knew it was time to move so um, it is it is alarming it's very unpleasant changing the whole tent position you know, basically having to pack everything up in a hurry uh, in these very cold uh, temperatures I think um, it's highly likely that, that we will have to use our emotion suits tomorrow we are surrounded pretty much by water we can see with our head torches that there's dark sort of flashes in the ice all around us there's, there's been a massive breakup we're, we're very well prepared and um, we have an excellent sort of sleeping bag system that involves uh, quite apart from we uh, wearing uh, two sets of two layers of clothing within the bags we then have three sleeping bag layers and two um, uh, sort of sleeping pads beneath us uh, and we're reasonably warm once in the bags I mean we are prepared for um, encounters with polar bears and the more open water there is the, r the more seals um, can uh, survive out here and therefore the more possibility of polar bears uh, that feed on the seals no one's traveled in this region really ever before on the surface for any distance 